Harry McLeary's Rumpus at the Vet. Down at the vets, there were all kind of pets, with troubles and woes from their ears to their toes. Sniffles and snuffles, and doses of flu, itches and stitches, and tummy ache too. So many animals, watchful and weary, and Harry McLeary from Donaldson's Dairy. There were miserable dogs, cantankerous cats, a rabbit with pimples, and rickety rats, mice with the sneezes, a goat with a rage, and Cassie the cockatoo locked in her cage. Cassie had claws and a troublesome beak. She saw something twitch, so she gave it a tweak. She pulled it so hard that she plucked out her hair, and Harry McCleary jumped high in the air. A bowl full of mice was bundled about, over it went, and the mice tumbled out. Four fussy budgies and Grandmother Goff with, um, flew out of their cage when the bottom dropped off. Grizzly Macduff, with a bottle brush tail, leapt out of his basket and over the rail. The Poppadom kittens from Parkinson Place squeezed through an opening and joined in the chase. Barnacle Beasley forgot he was sore and he bumbled and clattered all over the floor. Then Custard the Labrador, Muffin the Clay and Noodle the Poodle decided to play. They skidded and scampered and slid all around and bottles and boxes came tumbling down. What a kerfuffle! A scramble of paws, a tangle of bodies, a jumble of jaws. With squawking and yowling and mournful meow, they really were making a terrible row. Out came the vet. I'll fix them, she said, but she tripped on a lead and fell over instead. Giza, the goat, crashed into a cage. He butted the bars in a thundering rage. Cassie got mad. She rattled her beak. She saw something twitch, so she gave it a 